Hey, what's up everyone? Sly, Flo. All right, man. So we've heard a lot of weird things about Brock Purdy, weird takes. This right here has to be the weirdest. Let's check this out and we'll talk about it. I am going, I'm going to try in a singular full screen to show you, appeal wow. to all of your instincts as to why you and I both know I Brock Purdy is not an MVP. Okay. Can we please show it? Oh, come on. <laughs> Wait, this is the promo That's, department. Yeah. What's and going the on promo, here? This is the promo department, just like the Niners, just like all of us in our marrow knows, the engine that moves the San Francisco 49ers is their running back. Which is why, in the biggest football game of the year, on the best network in the world to watch football, yeah. you know how we're promoting it? We're showing the two most important offensive players, Jalen Hurts yep. and Christian McCaffrey. Mm -hmm. And so if even the promo department was like, you know what, I know we basically always do quarterbacks. We would put Daniel Jones on there ahead of Saquon Barkley, but we can't do it here. No, he can't be so. the league's MVP. Okay. That's it. That All right, man. So Nick Wright out there pretty much hating like always. Pretty much saying Brock Purdy cannot be the MVP because of this poster. And the funny thing is, we're going to do a topic before that talking about if Brock Purdy and the Niners beat Jalen Hurts, will Brock Purdy be the MVP, like the leading MVP? Man, we heard this take. But I'll let you talk about Nick Wright, then we'll talk about if he can be the MVP if he wins. Yeah, man, obviously Nick Wright's not going to push Brock Purdy as MVP because that's going to mess up his whole uh, Mahomes Mountain thingy. Obviously, he has Mahomes and Jalen Hurts up there as a one, two consensus guys for him. And he has Brock Purdy all the way like at a tier three or four. That's just disrespect for what Brock Purdy's done this year. Nick Wright, I don't even know if he actually watches our games or not because this guy, he's pretty much put solid numbers pretty much consistently we get even his bad weeks he had good numbers yeah. he, we just had those picks which kind of hurt us but his numbers were there um but i just think this media i don't know man i always just feel that they're only pushing out Mahomes and kind of um who were we playing this week jason jalen hurts yeah those are the two guys who are always getting pushed out you can tell just the media commercials mm -hmm. all these guys they get all the attention and this little guy from iowa state who mr irrelevant He's a great story. Normally they talk about great stories, but for some reason they're just trying to keep him hush hush, trying to keep him quiet. But I think if Brock Purdy takes him out this weekend, you'll start hearing the noise, and then he's going to be up there for sure. Yeah, it's so funny because I was thinking about what I was going to say about if Brock Purdy should be the MVP leader if he beats Jalen Hurts, and then I hear this take where there's no way in how he thinks that Brock Purdy could be the MVP just because of the poster has McCaffrey instead of Hurts. So. I don't know, man. That right there, I was like, what the hell? I mean, it's. I really want us to win the Super Bowl because I want that six ring, but I really want to win the Super Bowl so Nick Gregg can come out on Monday and be like, damn it, I was wrong, you know? Because he's been, you got to give him credit, man. He's the one, he's like the leader of the Brock Purdy hate train, you know, and he's not stopping, you know? Some, a lot of guys have stopped and said, hey, I was wrong, but this guy, he's not going to stop until Brock Purdy wins that damn Super Bowl. So, I don't know, man. Me personally, though, Everyone has Jalen Hurts right now, number one. I think Vegas has him number one as far as the MVP. If Brock Purdy does perform at a high level, two, three touchdowns, and gets the win, absolutely, he should be the leading candidate for uh, MVP. And to me, I'm excited because that means that we finally have a damn pro bowler for the first time, like in, what, 20 years since Jeff Garcia? I've been waiting every damn year. Are we going to get a pro bowler? Uh, JT O'Sullivan, <laughs> Ken Dorsey, man, all the old timer, even Alex Smith, man, it was like nobody, nobody, not even Kaepernick got the Pro Bowl, Jimmy Garoppolo. So, I mean, hopefully we finally get it and we can shut these haters up, man. We saw different stuff today from uh, your boy Colin Cowherd. Now we're hearing this, you know, so it's going to keep coming. But, man, I really hope that we get it this year so we can finally shut these guys up. I just, I can't wait, man. All right, well, you guys let us know what you guys think about Nick Wright's take. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. See y'all next time. Peace. Peace.